Hey guys, uh, welcome back. I'm repping my Nicholson shirt because I miss y'all and I hope you're staying safe and maybe doing some work. Um, today we're going to be doing addition strategies. So we've talked about some of these in class. We've practiced using them before. This should probably be just a review. Um, we know there's lots of different addition strategies like counting up, using pictures, making 10, using a number line, counting on our fingers. Um, but today we're just gonna be using a couple of those strategies. Um, you'll probably need a piece of paper and a pencil if you wanna work these out with us. Um, I'll give you time to pause when I put the problem up to solve it on your own before we do it together. All right. Okay, so our first problem we'll be solving is three plus seven. You might already know the answer, and if you do, that's awesome. I'm so glad. That means you've been practicing your fact fluency. Um, but we are going to use counting up as our first strategy. So when we count up, we can use mental math and in our head and maybe our fingers too to help us. And we'll always start with the bigger number. <coughs> so that means we'll start with seven. So if I'm starting with seven, I'll hold up seven fingers. So you can count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm gonna add or count up three more to get our sum. So let's keep going. We've got one, two, three more. And we know we've all got 10 fingers, so our answer is 10. So we can write, let me get a different marker, 10 as our answer. We know three plus seven is 10 because we use counting up, using mental math, and our fingers. All right. I'm gonna drop this. So our next problem we're gonna do is one plus two. And we're gonna use a different strategy. I'll let you pause if you wanna solve it on your own or if you already know the answer, that's awesome. Um, so go ahead and pause if you need to, otherwise we'll keep going. We're gonna use pictures to solve this one, okay? So we'll start with the top number, which is one, which means we'll draw one circle. Then we'll do our next number, which is two. So we'll draw two circles. And since we're adding, that means we're counting them all together. So we'll count them all together. Count with me. One, two, three. And we know that three is our answer because we used pictures to solve. One plus two is three. Next, we're gonna solve four plus six. Go ahead and pause if you wanna do it on your own, four plus six. If not, this time we're gonna use our number line. Hopefully, Bailey Bear is not gonna get in the way here. You can see the number line. So when we use the number line, we know we start either number, we're gonna find it on the number line. Let's find four down here. I can always start at zero if I'm not sure where it is. And I go, and there's four. So I found my starting point. I'll put a little dot. I know I'm gonna start right there, but I need to know how many places I'm counting forward on the number line. Since we're adding, we're gonna count this way. I need to count six spots more. So I'll use my marker to show our little jumps. We'll start at four and we'll count six up. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I landed on 10, if you can see that. So we used our number line. We started at four, we counted up six spots, and we got 10 as our answer. If you got that on your own, I'm so happy. If you needed a little more practice, that's perfectly fine. This is all good. All right, let's keep going. Let 
we're going to do 8 plus 2. And if you already know that answer, that's awesome. If you don't, now's the time to pause. Maybe solve it on your own. 8 plus 2. Otherwise, we're going to use counting up again. We're just going to circle back around to our first strategy, counting up. And this time we're going to use mental math again. We're going to keep eight in our head. We know that eight's the bigger number. We'll keep eight in our head and we'll count up two. So we'll go eight, one, two. So eight, hmm, nine, ten. Eight, eight in our head, nine, ten. And we get ten as our answer again. We can also, this will be a good time to use a ten frame if you've got one. Okay. Our next problem, ooh, this is a big one. 11 plus four. If you wanna solve it on your own, go ahead and pause, 11 plus four. And this time we're gonna use pictures to solve. It's gonna be a pretty big number, so go ahead and count it with me. I might need some help. We'll start with the top number. We'll need 11 circles. So let's count. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, then we need four more. So we count four more circles. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna count them all together because we're adding. That means we're counting all, this, all the numbers together. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So our answer is 15. And this is 15. I've got a little on the card. All right, let's keep going. Our next problem is going to be 3 plus 6. Go ahead and pause if you want to solve it on your own or if you already know the answer. 3 plus 6, and this time we're going to use the number line. So we're going to start at 3. I'll put a little dot on here so I know where to begin. We'll do 3. Hopefully you can see. And we're going to count up 6 spaces. So I'm going to use little hops to show that I've counted up 6 times. So we'll start here. We'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and I landed on nine. So three plus six is nine. Uh-oh, I'll get that later. All right, our next problem is gonna be seven plus two. Go ahead and pause so you can solve it on your own. Go ahead and pause so you can solve it on your own or if you already know it. Um, this time we will go back to counting up. So we're gonna have seven in our head, seven in our head, two on our hand. We know this is two, one, two. So we'll go seven, eight, nine. We get nine is our answer. Okay, we've only got three more problems. So I'm really glad you're staying with me. We've got five plus nine. Okay, pause so you can solve it on your own. And then we're gonna carry on using our picture strategy. So we're gonna draw five circles because that's our first number, count it with me. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna draw nine circles because there's our next number is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, since we're adding, we're gonna count them all together. We'll mark it off as we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So our answer five plus nine is fourteen.
Next, we're gonna do two plus six. So pause it, solve it on your own, and then we're gonna use mental math to solve it. All right, we're gonna count up in our head. We've got two in our head. We're gonna count up six more, so I need six fingers to count up with. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll keep two in my head. So two plus six. We're gonna count up two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And our answer is eight. All right, our last problem, nine plus four. Okay, for this we're gonna use our number line as our last problem. We're gonna start at nine. So I'll put a dot over nine. And we're gonna count up four spaces. So I'll use my marker, we're gonna to count together. One, two, three, four. I know I counted four spaces, but that's how many times I jumped. And I landed on 13. So nine plus four is 13. All right, I'm so glad if you watched this video, we got to practice some of our addition strategies. Um, keep checking the page, I'll be posting more, and I'll see y'all hopefully soon.